we want to find out who are permitted to trade in these license plates. Okay, I, the law permits five broad categories of people. One is uh, somebody who manufacture motor vehicles, and we don't have manufacturers registered to my knowledge in this country, but we have agents of the manufacturers from Korea, Japan, the USA, Europe, and these agents represent the manufacturers. So they can apply to the DBLA for either a DP plate or a DD plate. Then also we have people who are skillful drivers, licensed as tester of vehicles. So when the vehicle is brought in and is fine tuned, they take them out and test them. In fact, in Europe where the manufacturers manufacture, some of them test drive them to see whether there is balance and then the, the braking system has no problems and then the security features and the safety features like the cheese belt, like the airbags, when it collides, how does it crumble and how does it impact on the occupants of the vehicle. These test drivers are given trade license to fix on the vehicle that they are so testing. Then also we have persons who intend to be practicing the trade, the test, uh, drive, test driver uh, uh, job or intend to do to be traders in trade licenses. And the last in the series, but not the least, are people who have been authorized by the licensing authority to trade in trade license plates. And these people who trade in trade license plates, some of them are located in Tema, near the main harbor uh, parking lot. And so when you bring in one or two pieces or a, a, a vehicle, either a truck or a small car, and you want to move it from the port to where you are going to license it, you go to them and they hire out these street licenses to you for a period. It might be a period extending between one day up to uh, 30 days. And they have actually insured that particular license plate and it come along with a logbook but they cannot duplicate that particular number so that more than two vehicles will be using the same trade license. They cannot also make photocopies of those license plates and then boss it on their vehicle. It should be the original. We have people who are actually chauffeuring them from their houses to so their place of work with for sale attached to them. You are supposed to have a specific business place where you display your new vehicles or home use vehicles as they call them in this country and then you sell them. You are a dealer in motor vehicles but you don't drive them as if you've registered and licensed them. And these are the abuses that we are seeing all over the planet. What, what con conditions or what strategies have the police adopted in their fight against the abuse of DV and DP plates. Before I do that, I answer the specific question. I want to tell you some of the dangers that people attract to themselves when they are using this DD normal place. Okay. We have from our research realized that some persons who are using the DB normal place uh, demonstrate that they recently returned from Europe and therefore they still have maybe uh, some euros or from dollars on them. And so when you flaunt your wealth like that, you attract armed robbers who attack you. Others too have been followed by people and their cars have been seized from them. And it is very difficult for the police to trace such vehicles because the chassis number, the engine number, and the, there's no registration number plate affixed to that particular vehicle. So apart from your original documents, the bill of lading and things like that, you don't have any way of giving the police adequate information for us to be able to trace your vehicle when it is seized from you. Then also there are people who actually when they are moving these street plate numbers from one point to another, because of the finest condition that you find in some of these new cars, the young men get carried away and they drive very fast 
on our highways and when they hit somebody it is difficult to actually distinguish the dharma plates so they they actually impact negatively on our vehicles when people abuse the trade licenses now coming to the specific issue that you raise i think that the way and means that the police is actually fighting the abuse of trade licenses one is to ensure that we do not permit people to drive beyond the working day the working day may start from six o'clock in the morning or 7 30 normally officers are open for business and then maybe it ends between 5 36. 